Successful people use obstacles as motivation. Average people use them as excuses. I like to say that I came up with that quote. I've never heard anybody else say it like that. So I'm going to take credit for that one. But you know, what I mean by that is this. You know, many people, including yourself, I know I have, we've experienced very bad obstacles in our life, whether they're in the past or maybe even currently. Maybe you lost your job, lost your business, house being foreclosed on, you have a divorce or a separation, a loved one becomes sick or ill or passes away. There's a lot of different obstacles that I'm talking about, both personal and business. But we have two choices. We can do what average people do, which most everybody does, and use them as excuses on why we can't do something different, take another step in our life, something that could potentially give us the greatness that we all deserve and and long for. But what I found by talking and studying successful people is it's interesting. They actually, in many cases, have worse obstacles than anybody I've ever met. You know, lost more money. Um, Horrible things happened to them in their personal life. But what I found is many of their greatest successes happened after biggest obstacles. And why is that? It's because they decided to take those obstacles and use them as more motivation to inspire them, to drive them, to fuel them. And maybe the reason that happens is because the bigger the obstacle, the more motivation and the more success that they ended up happening. You see, seven years ago, I was homeless. I was sleeping in my car, then I lost my car. I lost everything with the financial crisis in the United States. And I made a decision, I could use that as an excuse, become average, or I could motivate myself, take that obstacle and let that inspire and drive me to do something bigger and better than I've ever done in my life. So I made a decision that seven years ago, I wasn't gonna be average. I wasn't gonna let my obstacles keep me down. I knew that I wanted to have success, so I used that as motivation to become incredibly successful. But, like the successful people we talked about, it's faced with more obstacles, bigger obstacles than I've ever been faced in business very recently. But the bigger the obstacle, the bigger the motivation. And so I've now created a platform that I know is going to be the biggest venture that I've ever done in my entire career. So I'm very excited about that. But you have a decision to make yourself. You can take the obstacles that you've been making excuses on for some time now, or maybe the obstacles you're encountering right now and are thinking to yourself, if I didn't have those, I could do this. And you need to use those obstacles as motivation on why you're going to do something bigger better and different. But it starts with you and the decision that you must make right now. And when you make that decision, you gotta take action. So please, don't be stuck in being average. Don't be like everybody else because before you know it, time will pass you by. Do what successful people do. Take those obstacles, fire yourself up, use them as motivation, and let's all go do great things together. We'll see you.